This video was They're going right to be about me. Final Fantasy VII, but all the way through the playthrough, my controller to decided to stop working. While I try to figure out what I'm going to do about that and try to rectify that problem, I decided that I'm going to talk about Path of Exile. Seeing that I've been playing this game for a good 200 hours in the past month or so, so I think I have enough playtime to say what I want to say. Anyways, I am Brombra, and for the next 10 or so minutes, I'm going to either persuade you or dissuade you from playing Path of Exile. Let's see which one it is. Enjoy the show. There is a lot to say about this game, and I want to start this off by saying that yes, this game really does make me want to spend like a good 60 bucks just to tell the devs that they've done a good job. That's saying something coming from me because I am very well burnt out on a lot of free-to-play games trying to get me any which way to spend money on them, even though that they're not even worth it. So yes, that is very high praise right there. Now, having said that, I got to immediately follow that up in saying this, which there's a lot of aspects to this thing that I don't like. And a lot of it is, I think, the blemishes from being such an old game. Because how old is this game? When was it made? 2013? One moment. One moment. I gotta look this up. Yep, it was released in 2013. So it's, what, like seven years old? Almost come October. And there is a lot that just needs to be updated, which brings me to also the topic of dealing with Path of Exile 2. Because why should you get involved with a free to play game whenever it'll probably be obsoleted whenever the next game comes out? So, should you even spend money on this? Is, is your stuff going to transfer? Is it going to be worthless? These are some of the questions that are kind of important and after a little digging I've also kind of came to my own conclusions that I will share kind of after I get done praising the game and saying what I don't like and giving my final thoughts. So the things I like about this game. Where to begin? So, I'm going to say that the build customization is by far almost overwhelming, which is something that I really do like. I, I, I really do like being able to just do whatever I want, and I spend most of my time figuring out how to make it work, but you can still make it work. And that's exactly what Path of Exile does. So, making your character progress and become more powerful in the way that you want to is a big bonus. Because how a lot of systems work that looks like you can do a bunch of different stuff and have a lot of customization to your builds, it really doesn't boil down to you having that many choices that really matter. I mean, you can build your character in a lot of other games to do whatever you want, but by the time you get to end game, you are so frustrated because your character can't do anything or they can't keep up. In Path of Exile, as long as you meet certain criteria that is pretty well open-ended, you can make whatever you want work. Apparently, every single skill has been tested to where they can beat the game. So yes, the customization I think is the best that I've ever seen in a game, really. At least so far. At least in the way that they've handled it. I mean, just look at the skill tree. Every single class, as you could say, or character, because character and class they're the same thing. Well, every single one of them has the same passive tree. It's just this large web of ever-expanding perks you can keep picking from, but you'll only ever pick a maximum of about 10% from the entire tree. I mean, I really wish this system was in other games. I, I, I really have to say that. In fact, to give you an idea of how diverse this can be, is let, let me tell you about the build that I got that my first character that was able to the game story, and that was a pathfinder of where I used the caustic arrows and some trap. It's really a build that really isn't, I guess you can say meta, by no means. And by the way, I'm also playing this to give some reference during the Delirium League, so for anyone that sees this video well into the future, that that's the time frame. So yeah, 
the, this build, basically, I just have to kite around, ju just not get hit. But I essentially melt everything that just comes into my path. And the game allows me to do that, even though that the most popular picks and like the most effective way to do it is using like the Scourge Arrow or some sort of Arrow Rain build. But no, 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 I can still do everything in the game, even in the game and post game stuff. This build actually works fantastic, and this customization and progression system allows that to happen as long as you take care of a few aspects of your build so you can actually progress which let me go back just a moment because uh, I mentioned the delirium League. and that's the other thing that I really like about this game is that they specifically release new content that's designed for you to restart the game and refresh the entire economy everything so you don't ever get so far behind that there's no point in playing the game because when games become so so old in their economy there's not much that you can do because players become so rich if you've ever been a part of a mmo of any kind this is a problem that there's just too large of a discrepancy between old and new players and they figured a really good system that's really best thing that i can actually say about that i mean i wish that there is a better way to articulate what I want to say, but it's a really good system. In fact, Path of Exile as a whole has really well thought out, very deep, and you can just plunge right on in. This game is designed to be played forever, and it has that depth to support it. Now that I've kind of said the things that I liked about this game, let me move on to things that I less enjoyed, and quite frankly, hate. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of these issues can really just be summed up by me saying that the game's ancient in internet time. And I guess that leads into my first problem, which is it takes about at least two to three times just trying to sign in to get to character select, and about five to six times trying to log in to a character just to make it into the game. Now once I actually connect, it stays connected. But I'm not the only one that normally has this issue, and it isn't really on my side for the connections. And speaking of the connections, whenever you do have little hiccups in your own connections, the game freezes. Instead of just pure out rubber banning, it just freezes, so it's annoying. And I could really keep pointing out a bunch of different problems with the networking, but it I feel like I'd just be nitpicking at the game at that point. But I will move on to my next main issue, and that is trying to figure this damn thing out. God, the amount of tutorials that I had to go through just to figure out, just, just to figure out the simple things about the game is somewhat absurd. This game will make you feel stupid. A good example of that is the fact they don't even tell you that you need to build for a 60% deficit in elemental resistances by the time you get to the final boss. Well, actually after the final boss, but still, I mean, you have no way to know that as a new player. Now, most people aren't new, but if you're coming into there, yes, you need to know that. You don't need to worry about it until about halfway through, but there you go. Another good point is you really need a loot filter, and trying to figure out what's a good loot filter just to be able to play this game is a headache in of itself. And I can keep going on, like with the currency, there is just so much information you have to dive into just to be able to play the game competently to learn the more advanced things about the game. And this is ultimately because the game has been around for so long. Yes, there's a lot of material, but it's not in the game to explain itself. And that's always a negative. I mean, I come from Warframe. That game is notorious for that shit. And I certainly never advocate that that should be how it should be. It, I don't, because it runs off newer players, and it's just frustrating whenever it ought not to be. So now with the thread of this video dragging on for a little bit longer than what I would like. Let me kind of wrap this up by going into who I think this game is for and answer the question, is this game even still worth playing? Because there is supposed to be a Path of Exile 2. That game isn't really going to be anything new. In fact, I looked into it and from what I can tell, it's just a refresh. So just jumping right into it, even if 
you still play, or if you did play and wonder if it's worth coming back, it's like, yeah, yeah it is. Definitely if you have friends that still play with it, because I do believe your progress will carry over. Now, if you're someone new, I would say possibly not, because you're going to have to invest a lot of time to just be able to feel like you know what's going on. So if you have friends, yeah, they can help you out. They, they can explain things to you. But if not, you might want to go with something that's a bit newer. Oh, what do you know? You're still here. Thanks for listening in this far into the video. I know I've been sitting on this and putting it together very slowly while I've been chipping away at a platinum trophy for Neo 2. Hopefully I can get on that very quickly and, well, I think I might be doing something a little bit different for that video. But anyways, let me know what you thought about this. Is this game a little too old or has way too much information piled up inside of it to really get into it? This game was a little bit more difficult for me to try to figure out looking through all the information. But yeah, I'm kind of curious. But hopefully the next video won't take nearly as long to get out as this one. So I will be seeing you then.